What's up YouTube? I just got back from vacation and I picked up a few things from the post office which I'll show a little bit later. But for now, enjoy a little bit of scenery from the Mount Hale Haleakalas Summit. Uh, this was from earlier in the day right before the sunset. It's still a beautiful view. There's going to be more, so stay tuned. So what I picked up in the mail today were seven Engelhard one ounce bars still sealed. I decided to spot test one by cutting it out of the package and using the scale just to make sure. So as you can see some of these have some toning issues on them and I wasn't sure if the plastic was original so maybe one of you guys who know a little bit more about Engelhards can fill me in. But for now I cut one open just so I can make sure that it is the right weight and it does pass the magnetic test. When you buy sealed, sometimes it makes sense to spot check. And in this case, I did. So first up, the weight test. One troy ounce, or 31.1 grams. Switch it over to troy ounces, and it's spot on. I was able to pick these up for $21 a piece, or a few cents over spot, which is ultimately the game plan for the time being. At least when it comes to premium, it's always watching out for premiums. And as you can see, this is a Engelhard Bulogo bar, a 10 ounce. Here's the previous one that I just picked up, which is a P bar or P cereal. I believe both these bars are cast bars, but if they're not, please let me know in the comment section below. I'm still new at Engelhard, so more learning and feel free to share, share some knowledge. So here I'm just checking out the weight and you can see it's just a little bit under at 9.97 troy ounces. And just to make sure I test the other bar that I have which weighs out at 10 ounces spot on. I decided to bring out the Silvertown bar which I know is a little over which is at 10.3 so combining the three should equal 30 troy ounces. It looks like the market has been steadily moving up in terms of precious metals like gold and silver with platinum moving up more significantly than the other two. So platinum is still one of those potential up and comers, might want to check those out. In another one of my videos, Silver New Jack recommended using a, an iPhone case to kind of store my metals and after seeing his video and seeing how he did it, it made, sure made for a good idea, so I decided to see if I can put together a hundred ounces of angle hearts. But we'll see how long that will take me because it is hard considering the premiums. I'm trying to minimize the premiums as much as possible, but it is a difficult task. As far as the storage option, it works out pretty well. So I think I'll work with this and uh, put some poured silver bars and angle hard bars in the box. If you've been keeping up with my channel, you'll notice that I've been picking up some weight and I've been trying to pick up premium weight at a low premium. So these 10 ounce bars do cost me an ounce or two of generic bars, but it's I consider that insurance and also these are just nicer to collect. One other thing that I wanted to mention was a big fat thank you to all the subscribers of the channel. I came back and today I reached 1700 subscribers and half a million views. It's quite a milestone. And just so you guys know, I do keep tabs on what you guys are watching and I try to keep, uh, stay active on it. For the new guys getting into YouTube videos, don't get discouraged if you don't get traffic right away. I'll link below to my very first video on coins that I did back in August 14th was the first time I did a YouTube video on coins and to this day it still doesn't have any comments it has 280 some odd views nine thumbs up and one thumbs down so at that point even to this day nobody goes and looks at it just keep working at it develop your style develop your content and uh, people will s stumble on you for the rest of the 1,700 subscribers who have watched half a million views, thank you for watching. I appreciate all the comments and the feedback, positive and negative, to help me make the channel better. Some of you may or may not know that I've been working on an app on the side, and it's been 
around the same time as I've been stacking. So a lot of the trade deals and the buying and selling, I've actually been doing to understand how the process works so that I can build an app around it. So I decided to show you guys a little sneak peek of what I'm working on. The name of the app is, of course, Ikeo, and which you can use to itemize your belongings and put it in a database on the cloud. From there, you can change the status so people can borrow it, borrow or lend, buy or sell, or give and receive. The payment system uses PayPal, and it's direct person-to-person -person transactions. I don't want to bore you with too many technical details, but this app was built so that people can save money by sharing items or selling to people that they already know at a discount so that you don't have to buy things new. Many of us have things that we no longer use that other people are looking for, especially our friends. And if you want to be able to help your friend save some money and get your item back and get some use out of it, check out this app once we launch. One of the best ways to save money is buying on the secondary market. And it's even faster or possibly even a better deal if you can buy it from a friend who no longer needs it. Because it's convenient for them and convenient for you. Anyways, I won't talk too much more about this. I do hope that you'll check it out uh, when it, the time does come. Let me know what you think. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And thanks for watching. See you on the next one.